everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am showing you guys my 2017 budget binder. I've had so many questions asking if I was actually going to do another one this year because I did one for 2015 and for 2016 and of course I'm going to do one for 2017. If you watched my video earlier this week, I think I posted it Wednesday, um, I talked about how I opened an Etsy shop and in my Etsy shop, I have all of these printables that I'm about to show you, and you can buy it for $7.99 for the whole bundle. I have a 10% off code that you can use as well. Um, be sure to go check out that video. I have a giveaway going on, and yeah, just go check out that video if you're curious about any of these printables that I'm about to show you, and that way, if you want exactly, if you want to set up your binder exactly how I do, then you can do it this time. I had so many questions last year. Um, of people trying to find the printables that I did and used and all this kind of stuff and it was such a mess and so I thought this year why not make my own and then just sell it to you guys and it's just easier for everyone so that's what we're doing um, and I promised y'all on Wednesday that I would show you how I use these printables in my binder so that's what we're going to do today I set this up last night and this is for real my budget binder this is how I use it this is how I use everything and yeah, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and let's get started. Okay, so here is my budget binder. This is the binder that I've been using for a long time now, a few years. This is the Simplified Life Planner by Emily Lee. She is linked down below. I don't think she sells this binder anymore. You can just get any three ring binder you want. Um, this is just the one I have. I absolutely love it. I think it's super cute. I love the gold detail and yeah, obsessed with it, but it's just a three ring binder. Like, I mean, it's nothing special, so you can just go get this really anywhere. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first page we have here is the cover page of my bu budget binder bundle. Um, so yeah, it, this is just a blank and it's for you to put in whatever year it is. So I put in 2017 because this will be for 2017. And then I also have all of these tabs. These came with this binder from Emily Lee. So uh, <laughs> I guess you could probably make your own or whatever, but I know I'm going to have a ton of questions about that. And so those came with this binder from Emily Lee. So the next page we have here is the meal plan worksheet. This is how I have mine set up. And so basically it just has all the days of the week, all the different meals, breakfast, lunch, snack, dinner, and ingredients needed. So I really, I meal plan <laughs> every single week. So I really liked the idea of having it all laid out like this. And then some meals just require some different ingredients that I don't keep on hand. So that's what these little lines down here are for, are for the things that I might forget that I need for that meal. So we just keep that in the front of the binder because we use this frequently. <laughs> and then I also created a monthly budget sheet for you guys. So I know a lot of people use every dollar or they have it electronically. This is just a paper version. I love paper. <laughs> That's why I have this binder. I know a lot of you are probably going to be like, why do you have this if you do every dollar? It's because I just, I like to have things written down on paper. I'm weird like that. These are not our real numbers. So please don't think that this is what we make or anything like that. These are not real numbers. I was just, I just wanted to show you guys how this sheet worked. So you would write down your income. I was in the middle of watching the Aggie game last night and was not paying attention to what I was doing. So I wrote the wrong stuff here. So just ignore that. But you would put whoever's income it, or whatever income you have right here all your different bills and so you write down what you're budgeting for each of those expenses and then you would write what you actually spent over here so you can kind of see what your ending balance is very simple and easy so next we are moving on to the income okay so the first page that's here is my yearly financial goals. I did a video last year about our financial goals for 2016 and I thought it would just be really great to have it all written down in front of me every time I come into my binder to keep track of all of our expenses and income and stuff like that. So you write down what your goal is. You do a six month check-in and a 12 month check-in to make sure that you stay on task. Next we have the income tracker. So I have four of these. I have one for my husband, one for me, one for YouTube, and one for Etsy. I just like to keep track of our different amounts that we're getting paid. My husband gets paid the same every paycheck, so his really isn't too fun. I get paid hourly, so my paycheck does change. And then, of course, 
Etsy and YouTube will all be different. And I just like to, you know, make sure that things are going how they're supposed to be. Nothing weird pops up. We also have tithing trackers, one for my husband, one for me, just to make sure, like, keep us accountable to paying our tithes. We are Christian, so this is something that is important to us. And then we also have savings trackers for every single one of our savings accounts. We have six of them. And yeah, I know that's a lot. I will, I am going to be doing a video on why we do that. But anyway, so we have one of these sheets for every single one of them. We have an emergency fund. We have a car fund. We have a housing fund, a medical fund, a travel fund, and a Christmas fund. Now you also see we have an investment tracker back here. Right now, only my husband has investments, and that's because his work requires him to have it. So that's what this is. Nothing too extravagant there. So under the expense tab, I have this monthly bill checklist. So you'll write down all the bills that you have, when they're due, and then so these numbers are for the month. So when we pay Vivint, which is our home security system, I just exit out. This is to help me to make sure that these bills have cleared the bank that they were paid we had a lot of trouble when we were getting out of debt like forgetting that we hadn't paid a bill or that a bill was coming out and so it would overdraft our account so that's why i love this sheet so much i can just go in and make sure that everything has been paid for and it looks really pretty at the end of the year with all these x's filled out <laughs> i know i'm weird anyways and then you can also write the day that these bills are due just so you can keep up with all of that the next page we have the debt snowball worksheet so we are currently debt free and will remain debt free but did want to create this for you guys I think this would have been really helpful for us if we had had this while we were in, still in debt getting, getting out of debt basically you write down what all your different debts are so these are the ones we had these are just made up numbers for your the amount that you owe for them what your minimum payment is and then you'll calculate what your payments are for that and then you can just check it off when you've paid it off and you just I think that would be so fun just being able to check that off right there next we have the monthly debt payoff chart so I thought it'd be really fun also if you're getting out of debt to see how much you're paying towards your debt each and every month and then what your total year in date what or what your total year in amount was I think that would just, it's really motivating to see what you're paying towards this if you're trying to get out of debt. So you would write down all your debts over here, your minimum payments, your snowball payment, all that, and then your total amount. These are just made up numbers. <laughs> Next, I have a cash envelope page. So we do not use the cash envelope system at all. It just did not work for us. It doesn't work for some people and it does work for other people, but this is for the people that does work. So you can print out one of these for each of your cash envelopes and it's just a paper copy to keep track of it. Or if you had designated funds, like we technically kind of do, this would help you keep track of it on paper. Next we have the expense tracker, so I have one of these for all of our bills to kind of help us keep track of what we're paying towards them. So I have one for our mortgage. I like to watch our mortgage balance go down. I also have one for our electric. So I also keep, I keep my expense trackers from previous years um, just so that I can make kind of estimate when we're creating our budget what we paid this time last year if that makes sense at all so I have my expense tracker back here um, from the 2016 and that way when I'm budgeting I can kind of figure out okay well this is what we spent the past couple of years in January so this is what we can expect to spend this year so I have one for electric I have one for water um, mortgage I'm trying to think what else I think that's all Oh, and then I have one for our cable bill because sometimes they like to increase the, our bill for no reason. So yeah, <laughs> that's why we're getting rid of cable at the end of this year. Okay, anyways, so onto the cleaning tab. I created a weekly cleaning checklist for you guys. Um, this is just, you know, sometimes it's easier to just have a list of things <laughs> when you're trying to clean or get stuff done. Or I like to have lists of everything. So this one is just already print it out or it's already created so you just print it out each week and you're good to go 
Next we have the little miscellaneous tab. And this is going to be where we keep our pet healthcare worksheet. So if we need to take our cat in, we would put in the date, what we're taking her in for, and what the cost was. I always feel like we're constantly taking them in and getting the same stuff done. And so this is just a way to keep track of, you know, medicine, shots, all that kind of fun stuff. Also a Christmas gift checklist, so I haven't filled this in yet, obviously. Um, I don't want anyone to see what we're <laughs> buying them, so anyways, there's the Christmas gift checklist. We have a password sheet. I will not be using this in my binder. I just wanted to give this as an option for people, but you can write down your build, your username and password. So there's just so many username and passwords you have to keep up with, so I thought it would be great to just have this written down for some people who need to keep track of that. And then we have our cars. So this is the car maintenance log. You'll put in the date, the mileage, what you had done to your car, oil change, flush, new tires, whatever, new battery, and then how much it cost. And this is just to keep track of, you know, what you're doing with your vehicle and make sure like it's still doing good. And then that's it. So I also, I have a lot of people ask me like what receipts and bills that I save. So I save, I save anything that we do to our cars. Um, I save all of those bills for sure, um, just so I can go back in case we need them. I save all of our vet bills, and I save, I'm trying to think of what else. I save our bill, well, when we are going through, we are, we are getting out of debt, I saved all of our car loan statements that we got. I save our cable statements just because they're really finicky sometimes and sometimes they're more expensive than they were before and so I like to go back and just verify and make sure but I think that's all everything else um, I throw away I just enter into every dollar and throw away but anyways that is our budget binder I am obsessed with it I love the printables that I came out with <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy them too I hope this helped that you could see how to use them course this is just how I use them not everybody needs to use them this way I'm not telling you you have to use them this way you might use some of them you might use all of them you might use one of them I don't care I just really help, like that it helps me stay organized I like that I have it on paper I can just go get it whenever I want I know I can get online but sometimes I just don't want to do that I like to just write it down on paper I know I don't know I know there are some of you out there who hear me on this and you totally get it so I hope you enjoyed this please go check out my shop um, it's listed down below use the discount code and get this it's only $7.99 for all these printables there's 18 pages in total you can print however many of them you want for however long you want the file is yours to keep please leave a comment down below if you enjoyed this video what do you put in your budget binder do you add anything that I didn't have in here I will be expanding the shop eventually and adding more stuff in there maybe having a re recipe binder or household binder stuff like that so I'm very curious to hear what you guys want to see in there so please let me know and let me know if you went and saw my shop leave a little heart emoji if you went and checked out the shop and favorited it for me I would love you forever don't forget to go enter the giveaway. You'll have to check out the video before this one. Um, I'll have it linked somewhere on this video right now. And go enter that giveaway to win a budget binder set of your own. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.